Hey everyone, this is Lolo Reddy from Abstract Music Lab and today we're back to the sound design channel to recreate a bass that I've made inspired by Medusa and it sounds like this. If you want to listen to it in context. It's really good for breakdowns and if you want to get it, you can get it here in the description below in the preset pack that we developed for Production Music Live featuring 79 amazing presets for Serum and I'm definitely sure that you're gonna like it. And also, if you're liking the videos, hit the like button. If you're loving it, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos of the Sound Design channel. But let's get started with the sound design and let's initialize Serum over here. But first, let's get into the MIDI just so you can hear what we're listening to here today. And this repeats for the second of four bars. And let's get back to Serum over here. We're going to use two oscillators for this one. The first one is going to be a basic shapes and we're going to have to leave it like this. Let me just deactivate this one. And the second one is going to be a basic mini. And we're going to have to put the wet position over here. But now three octaves down here. And minus one plus seven over here. You can hear it's already the kind of sound that we want. We just have to shape it now to how we want it. So now you listen here to nine and here to seven. Oops. Point 0.16 over here and point 0.15 over here. Now we have to make this sound a little bit more wobbly. And now we're going to use LFO 2 and we're going to just put this in the fine to around 10 for both oscillators. 11 is fine. I would just recommend you to put the same as what you've done here over here. If you intensify this, just so you can hear what it's causing here. You can see it's making like a wow, it's just making it a little bit more out of tune. And that's what we want with the sound. Now, the second thing that we have to do, the envelope is going to be exactly as it is. Now we're going to have to go here to the filter. And in the filter, we're going to put here an MG low 24. This is going to go here at 200, something like this, A and B. You can see that it pretty much sucks up the sound a lot, right? So now envelope two here, we're going to go here and one, something like this, sustain to around zero. And the release is going to be as it is. Now this is going to modulate the filter at around 39. Another thing that we have to do is come here and choose a sign. And we're going to have to put this over here to 10. So we create another wobble over here. But this one, we're going to have to put this here to 0.2. So you can see it's never the same. It's always changing. And that's what we want with this sound. We don't want it to be constant. We want something that's going to vary from here to there. Now we have to go here into the effects section. We're just going to do further shaping with the sound chorus. We're going to put this over here to 32% just so you can listen to what it causes. You can see it causes a little bit of turbulence in the sound. Now we're going to do it here also. We're going to put the low pass here to something over here. We're going to increase the feed to 39. 
and the depth we're gonna have to put a little bit down so if we increase it that's what we're blending with with the sound now flanger we're gonna just pick this one over here to 36 if you want to intensify it it kind of creates a tunneling effect to the sound the last thing that we're gonna have to do is go here into the EQ and now in the EQ we're gonna go here to 400 something like this the Q is gonna go around here and the gain at 2 and this is gonna be a bell curve but if you want to make the sound a little bit more high endy as well, you can definitely use a high shelf. But let's just use a bell. And that's pretty much it. If you want to listen in context again. What if you don't want the sound to be that low endy? So you can see that there is a frequency that it's like really low. You can just put this up over here. It's a different variation of the sound, but it works the same. And that's it. I hope you like the sound. If you like it, you can grab it here in our preset pack available here in the description below. And if you're liking the video, hit the like button. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos from the Sound Design channel. And I hope to see you soon in the next video. This is Lelo Ready from Abstract Music Lab. Cheers. Hi, this video is sponsored by us. If you like these tutorials and want to support the channel, please check out our website packed with online courses and professional sample packs. Also check our ready-to-use and club-tested serum presets. You can browse by the genre and style you're looking for or get the incredible deal with the full serum preset bundle. Thank you for listening and now let's get back to your tutorial.